Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, September 28th. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, September 28th? September 28th. Okay, so you have um, the light priestess. So this is about having wisdom. You have wisdom inside of you. And it's something that we're all born with. But if you harden yourself to things from the outside world, you don't have those feelings. Um, so there's the healing temple of the lunar light. So maybe this is your life cycles, your karmic healing kind of thing, which is maybe allowing you to tap into spiritual, the spiritual realm. And then the water spirit. So emotions, memory. These are um, maybe focusing on the past, maybe letting go of past situations that were hurtful or even just things that maybe you just feel a little sad about releasing some stuff. And then the kindred spirits. So these are companions in, in your realm as far as, um, you know, ancestors, spirit guides, in a sense, guiding you um, in, in important things. So let's see here. At the bottom of the deck are the tree of souls. And this is really about collecting information from the collective um, as far as, you know, maybe coming together, uh, searching for people that or like-minded a little bit similar like yesterday's message trying to get that right tribe you know um so it could be a struggle for someone but opening the lotus so this is accepting this is a sense of allowing spirit um to mature inside of you to allow you to change um possibly you know maybe this is something that um you're being guided to heal within yourself something that maybe you haven't um, paid attention to before or maybe was a little bit hard to a situation. So let's see what these mean for you guys. Welcome. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and healthy and clear headed and all this turmoil that we're having. It will let up eventually for sure. Oh, let's see here. Okay. Like, that would spend my whole time doing that okay so let's see here what is okay it sort of flew out as i started to shuffle um the seven of pentacles so seven of pentacles um this is very much telling you you can pull forward in things uh, be successful um perhaps you're trying to grow something could be something financially could be something like that gives you a, a sense of structure um, this also could be that maybe you need to cut back on like frivolous things, things that you might be overspending. Um, but like I said, it just sort of came out. So let's see, or maybe are you feeling a lack of something? Um, the light priestess, what is the light priestess? Okay, so you have the six of swords and the nine of pentacles and so i do feel like that seven of pentacles does sort of feel right there it's almost as if you're trying to manifest something to grow something but in order to be able to grow something into success and becoming more powerful within yourself it's almost as if you're being guided by uh, your higher consciousness your inner wisdom um to get you to move towards the right direction uh, and this will open up new things for you perhaps maybe scared of going towards success you you know it's almost like an energy of being scared to travel into the unknown um maybe you've lost a lot of stuff in the past and then to go forward you so you you might be questioning you know if it's going to be successful if it's going to be worth it um something like that but it's almost with the six of swords you've got to leave something difficult something that you've been struggling with could be people, could be a family, could be a job, you know, could be a partner, like um, like relationship partner, okay? What is the Six of Swords, please? What's the Six of Swords? And I feel it's like you're struggling with, yeah, maybe a second chance. A second chance at success. Um, maybe, you know, you've been so down in the dumps and a lot of bad things have happened to you that you just don't feel like good things are going to happen to you, like you can't become successful again. Um, and that's really in the mindset. That's what the swords are. It's a mindset. It's really something that you you somehow have to get over, somewhat surrender with the judgment card to give yourself 
a second chance, perhaps believing in yourself and whatever it is that is pulling you. You're being pulled to a different direction than you've been, definitely. What is the judgment? Um, it's, it's a second chance for something, for a new beginning maybe in finances or perhaps even stability within yourself. A grounding energy for yourself is what it feels like. So let's see here. It did come out. And, and I do feel it's like something that you're working on. Um, releasing stuff. You got the Two of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So maybe there's a decision that needs to be made. Um, with the Two of Swords, it, it's, it's like maybe you're, you're being somewhat um, undecisive because it was in reverse and maybe you're continuing to put blinders on yourself so that you can't see um, it's almost like having a fear to move away from something perhaps something that isn't working but you keep trying to make it work or perhaps this is you deciding to finally somehow stop the procrastination to work towards something and give a second chance which will inevitably inevitably will take you to um success with the nine of pentacles what's are you going towards a single person um because the nine of pentacles is a single person very successful very able to you know to handle their own business so you got the knight of cups the eight of wands maybe moving towards communication with someone and then the queen of wands so that's definitely that that nine of pentacles energy where this is somebody who could be single that you might want to converse with, somebody who might be, there's a difference in age here, whether they're male or female, um, and there's a sense of maybe perhaps moving towards building something su successful with this person, or even with yourself, maybe even giving yourself a second chance, especially after losing a lot. I feel like you've lost a lot um, with the, with the, the six of swords it's it's really that kind of card that is really talking about spirit trying to guide you towards something that's more fruitful something that is more successful for you instead of keeping yourself in place in a place where you're sort of maybe pretending not to see what's happening or turning a, a blind eye to something but there's definitely a sense of having this kind of um this inner feeling of wanting a new beginning um maybe but it, it's tied with a little bit of fear, okay? Are you just not knowing how to converse to somebody? Are you not knowing how to maybe say something to somebody? Um, that's what it feels like, okay? But it, it's really with the the, the light priest, pri, uh, priestess is very much telling you, um, you know, follow those things, those synchronicities and the signs and allow yourself to to have that knowledge to come up. For you and what I mean by that it's like sometimes you get ideas in your mind and you might question them you might think of them as oh maybe you're being crazy or you're you know maybe scared to listen to that inner voice inside of you because maybe we you know we've been taught to sort of not really listen to that little voice inside of us that's your higher consciousness that's your spirit trying to talk to you um, so definitely something that's lingering here I feel um and especially with the seven of pentacles that came out first is it something that you want to give the chance to grow maybe it's it's something that is may, maybe halfway done growing but it's not complete um that's it's almost a, like maybe even an unfinished project or an unfinished um situation with a person place or thing something like that okay but i do see a second chance of renewal coming here with the judgment it's definitely something that you know you're, you're being sort of called to to regenerate it to bring it back to life per se and really to have confidence in yourself too and it, is it because maybe you're going towards somebody who's more mature maybe you think they're um outside of your league or you know maybe uh almost like a person that just always has their life together and it sort of makes you sort of nervous that's what it feels like like um yeah uh very interesting but eight of wands is a good card and so is the the, the knight of cups because that's definitely giving some sort of motion um of communication uh traveling fast maybe traveling towards someone um 
let's ask for the eight of wands what is the eight of wands what's the eight of wands please and you got two eights here so definitely trying to get some kind of balance hold the four of pentacles the lovers and the two of cups you're holding on you're holding on to this um maybe it's very much where maybe you are scared because this person has it all together and you might have to do a little bit of fixing of yourself before you can move forward now this is a general reading so i mean it could be your person that's going through this or it could be you um i definitely do feel that there is a sense of holding on um perhaps maybe somebody that you're very spiritually inclined to you know you, a spiritual connection you got the lovers and the two of cups i mean this is definitely holding on to it it's not letting it go and you could possibly hold on to it unintentionally um because it's meant to be it's meant to be part of your destiny you see um so i feel like there's a sense of coming in and communicating these sort of things with somebody um yeah that's what it feels like so maybe you're choosing something maybe you're choosing to to love yourself or to um receive love you know to give it as well is is what i'm hearing so let's see here there's definitely a choice with the lovers it's, it's a choice of you know are you going to pick who you truly love are you going to pick the situation that you truly makes you happy and harmonious um do you have to pick between someone there are two here or there are three so um i feel it's a divine intervention i feel it's something that's guiding you to this two of cups okay maybe um it's almost like it is a spiritual connection so it definitely feels like twin flame but it's almost as if um you know you're being sort of pushed into it because it's destiny and whoever this is for you or you could be doing this to somebody where you push them back you know um let's see here what is the healing temple so maybe you have to heal something um apologies could be given with the um the knight of Cop cups and so are you holding back because you got to give an apology and you're not good at giving apologies you know almost like you have to be right about stuff mm. that is definitely why the judgment is there it's definitely there to tell you you know surrender to that kind of thing because it's always going to put you back in square one so let's see what is the healing temple the healing temple so temperance definitely a sense of of healing something um your energy um your balance maybe even spirituality will help you to balance something okay um emotionally king of cups so there's definitely a sense of following that intuition really staying staying focused in whatever it is that you're trying to attain but this means you got to pay attention to your feelings with the king of cups you got to pay attention to your feelings not run away from them um, and really sort of learned how to express things emotionally. Um, maybe even you don't know how to show the feelings. This could be somebody who's going through a transition as far as knowing who or what they care about and what makes them happy. But in a sense, it's almost as if they've got to learn to give and perhaps even receive, okay? Because you got um, the Empress as well. You got the ace of swords the four of cups the hermit and the king of swords so there's two kings here um the emperor is at the bottom and the page of cups is at the top so is this someone who's having their reckoning you know realizing what gives true abundance with the the empress and the, the ace of swords um is this something that maybe you think you've missed out on because I definitely do feel like even back here with the Two of Swords and the Six of Swords, um, there's a sense of maybe <laughs> procrastination or walking away from something or turning a blind eye to something that could have been very detrimental to your happiness. And perhaps maybe this is now coming out because you're recognizing it. You're seeing the truth. The truth is going to set you free within a situation which is going to allow you to move towards a different path you see um honesty maybe coming up with apologies i mean 
really facing up to the things that you have done wrong. This could be within yourself that you've got to forgive yourself, but you also need forgiveness, forgiveness from someone else is what I feel also. Okay. Um, let's see. This is very interesting. You have two kings and one queen. Are you going to have to pick between two? Um, you know, that's what it seems. Okay, what is the king of cups? King of cups, please. So, page of cups, starting over, being emotional, loving, flowing right. What is the king of swords? King of swords, please. What's the king of swords? Truth and understanding is what they say. Truth, understanding. Are you understanding yourself? The way you work? The queen of pentacles? Growth? Um, this is grounding energy with the queen queen of pentacles maybe becoming a little bit more um, part of the feminine energy you know and then the two of, two of wands so this is having true the knowledge as far as what's going to help you grow what's going to give you the sense of um, security growth a fresh start so it's almost as if you know which way to go towards okay and it could be a person look at the empress right there it could be somebody that um really is that abundant person for you um and i do feel like the king of cups is starting over here with the page page of cups i want to know what's the empress the empress so the king of pentacles really looking at each other i feel like this is something where um it always leads back to square one. Then how could I explain that? Because I could just see that it leads back to square one in a sense that maybe you've diverted your life from this situation, this person, place, or thing. And it's as if you try to move forward and go your own way. But somehow it always, right, it, it, it always comes back to the same thing. Um, perhaps because you're not giving your soul the opportunity to experience it or to um th that inner wisdom that keeps calling you to the same place it it's almost as if this is somebody who's very stubborn and very set in their ways but yet desires this maybe on a sleep pattern or on a spiritual pattern but it has to line up with the 3d it's pretty much what it feels like um there's resistance there's a sense of knowing, um, knowing each other as far as spiritually and chemistry wise, you know, um, I do see the hermit. This is definitely where you're guided, but it is, it's a matter of time of how many times you keep going in that circle before that breaks. And then you finally break to give yourself a new cycle. So I definitely do feel like this is definitely a sense of somebody, um, even a couple, maybe two couples trying to heal a relationship. Uh, like if it's something that you're struggling with the current partner you're with i i see you fixing that it trying to transform for each other giving a second chance and if it's two couples that are separated it's almost as if you're trying to work out your differences become more balanced um but we are clarifying the temperance and the king of cups i feel like this is a person who keeps going down that same circle and it leads to that square one and that square one is the lovers and the two of cups making that choice to make yourself completely happy. It's like you have to do the work. You have to sort of, you have, <coughs> you sort of have to express things, um, meaning speak up and tell the truth. So is there something you're lying about? Is there something you're lying to yourself? Or is there something you're lying to, to, to towards someone else? Okay. Um, like deceiving yourself. You're deceiving yourself from from something and it's something that's very deep in your heart and you can feel it and and that's why it keeps surfacing to the top okay so maybe there's some kind of truth here with the king of swords are you seeking legal help um you could be because there's a lot of people here you could be uh sort of um seeking legal guides uh, maybe in um divorce or settlements or something like this uh, there's definitely a sense of even for some of you, it, it's almost like um, a, a breaking down of a family, maybe, you know, it, it sort of feels like that for some of you guys. There's something going on within a family. Um, 
but there is a chance of healing it okay that's the plus that's the good side there is a chance to move away from it so maybe this is a call to healing something um that's been lingering for a long time so what is the water spirit and that means really it's okay to be emotional and it's okay to be raw and it's okay to be vulnerable um to things and this is where you're headed you're, you're trying to do these things you're trying to or maybe it's not that you're even trying it's that it's just happening and it's sort of shocking in a sense it feels sort of shocking in a sense where um maybe you just haven't experienced something like this it's, it's something very different um six of wands so you're coming out of battle you have the two sixes both of them are these hard things that you're coming out of the six of swords is what we started with it's more thought whereas the six of wands it's more action it's more you know you're you're doing it so you're recognizing that there is a chance there's there's a chance and there's also a sense of wanting to move from some kind of battle. Maybe this is a hard family that you've been living in um, that isn't allowing you to go towards your true love or your, the true thing that makes you happy, okay? Um, and it could be that you're taking care of too many people um, instead of yourself and your needs, okay? Um, let's see here. And, and that definitely could be children, it could be family, it could be spouses. Um, even friends okay so um give me one more for the water spirit so the justice the justice the five of cups and the ten of swords see that's the feeling that's definitely the feeling where justice could definitely be seeking an end of a karmic cycle excuse me um, an end of a karmic cycle, maybe a divorce, maybe something that there's just so many regrets in and so much pain. Um, I feel like there's this a meddling kind of relationship kind of thing where there's a lot of people mixed into your relationship and it, it causes a lot of a lot of friction. Um, the five five of cups and the ten of swords is really where my god you know you you're sort of over it and there's just been a lot of pain a lot of backstabbing have you been working at something that it's like everything you do it gets you back to the people backstabbing you and i think you're recognizing this i think that you're realizing here you are trying to do everything and you get backstabbed and or maybe walked all over on um it's almost a sense of frustration within yourself you're frustrated at yourself and so this is the end of it because it is coming out with the justice card it's going to end it's speaking about an ending so that you can balance yourself over so you can start over but you have to speak the truth um, you definitely have to take the mask off and be real. And that could be the hardest thing because, you know, that means you got to let go of your pride and your ego and really surrender it as a mistake, as a completion, um, just letting it go, you know. And that's a hard thing to maybe fess up to that you've been going down the wrong path. I mean, it's hard to accept it to yourself. Um, and maybe this is maybe trying to convince it to others, you know, which you shouldn't have to convince others because with the lovers, it's trying to tell you to pick the right thing, pick the situation that's going to give you the stability, the growth, um, honesty in your life and emotion. That's what the King of Cups is. It's like he's really trying to be grounded and allow truth in. Okay, because somebody here has been lying. I think lying to themselves about something okay so kindred spirit because see there's a kindred connection um kindred spirit okay this could be your ancestors it could be your angels your god whoever you're connecting to or it could be a person on the physical plane that is your kindred spirit your twin flame your soulmate whatever that is for you seven of wands resisting it fighting it back not wanting to take charge okay the, the hangman, the six of cups, the four of swords. <laughs> okay, so that's definitely that energy. Um, do you have to fight for it? Do you got to fight for it? Are you hung up because you got to fight for it? It's very much part of that ego trip that I'm feeling. Uh, somebody has to somewhat, somehow fess up 
there's communication that needs to happen. There's apologies that need to be said. There's a sense of, you know, having to dish it out and accept the fact that you have to dish it out. So this could be somebody who's very stubborn and doesn't know how to apologize and say, you know what, I want to end the separation. Can we come back together? Can we fix it? Can we heal it? Okay. Um, this is definitely a sense of, you know, by being resistant, resisting, it's still taking you back to that square one. It's not until you fully surrender with that judgment card that this can sort of dissipate. It could sort of just dissolve, okay? And it could start over for something more positive. And it's definitely where you're being guided to. It's, I see a lot of resistance. I see a lot of pushing back of this connection, this Six of Cups. It's definitely a kindred spirit. I mean, it came up twice up there with the kindred spirit, this kindred spirit up there and right here with the Six of Cups. So this is changing. This is something that's changing. It's changing you. It's changing the way you think. It's changing how you feel. Um, it's definitely a sense of um, needing to let go of the battles that you're in right now. The Six of Wands, the Six of Swords. And those battles are that you're not uh, moving towards it or you're procrastinating this move or maybe you're just listening to all the other people and not really choosing your happiness that it causes you a state of stalemate um stagnation you know um but the seven of wands is also this kind of beautiful card where you say i'm not gonna take it anymore i'm not gonna take any more bs i'm gonna stand up for myself and that's why she's stomping on things you see right here she's like taking big steps because she's jumping over those wands the conflicts so whoever this is, I definitely do feel that they're tired of being stuck in limbo. And I do feel you're going to get some kind of communication about the Six of Cups. We all know what that Six of Cups is. It's it's a return uh, maybe of a person in the past. It's a return to maybe some kind of harmony or some kind of happiness. Um, perhaps something simpler, perhaps taking more time for you and to declutter from all... All the stuff that's happening. Yeah. Um, give me one more for the kindred spirit. Give me one more. What's the Ten of Swords? What's this Ten of Swords? Queen of Swords. Are you stuck with somebody? Um, Queen of Swords and the Wheel. So whatever that is, you're, you're definitely going to ste step up and rise to the occasion. Uh, you got some kind of clarity. I think you're tired of being stagnant okay with the queen of swords <clears throat> it's a call to motion it's a call to duty maybe it's a card it's a call to truth and really that's how you're going to get your nine of cups which is your wish fulfillment um and a new beginning and whatever this is for you it is fortunate and definitely taking charge with the chariot so you have two really good cards of starting better uh, whatever it is that you've lost in the past, you can regain. Uh, you can give yourself a new cycle of moderation. I definitely felt that with the temperance, there's a sense of moderating, mod having moderation. Um, and maybe this is given to you, um, meaning you take care of too many other people and not you. Um, and I think there's a call for balance here. There's definitely a, a need to call for balance, okay? and really giving in to something um, that perhaps will give something back to you in return versus being one-sided. It's almost like a lopsided situation. Okay, so let's see. How can this story end for today for the viewer? Okay, Four of Cups. So moving out of a place of comp complacency in a place where you've been throwing away your options I feel like you've been throwing them away. Really, look at that. Could have been because of the situation you're in, either the people you're with, the job you're at, the, the state of mind you're at, whatever that is, you're coming out of it. You're sort of not going to give away your your wishes anymore. Meaning you've had some kind of wishes come to you and you've sort of backed away from them. That kindred spirit was a wish can come true, but you backed away from it, you see. Um, I, I say, why? Why? Hmm. 
Um, okay, so going to a more stronger person. You were compliant before. You weren't taking any opportunities. You pretty much threw them away, just like you see in, in, in this Four of Cups. He's throwing it away back to the earth. It's going to waste. You, you wished for something. It came to you and you turned your back on it. You see, you did this in the past, but now you're gonna have some kind of victory and success because you're grounded, you've done the work. King of Pentacles is a beautiful card. So let's see what else came up. Oh, you gotta take some action. You gotta tell some truth. So this definitely, cause you see you, your, your lies have been deceiving you. Meaning the lies that you haven't told to the right person or the lies that you have, you need to tell to the other people that are trying to guide you in the wrong path. You know, so there you go. Oh my gosh, Seven of Pentacles. We started the reading with Tarot, with the Seven of Pentacles, and this is at the top of the deck, and then this is at the bottom. So you got a question. Hmm, they're both sevens. You need to plan and strategize something. You got to maybe stand up to a mother or wife, um, even yourself, okay? Put those burdens down. Definitely heal from something. Um so yeah that's that's definitely what it feels like you guys so let's see here uh, let's use these ones again i like these little ones let's see what can you show me about this reading right here please what can you show me about this reading okay uh let's see so you have the merchant so maybe changing jobs um, making you know coming out of a place where you didn't have enough you could be making more um, you definitely have to have a conversation maybe with others okay because others are trying to guide you maybe not the right path okay and then joyfulness so coming together unifying balancing out something that has been upside down is going to come back together for you it also could be a reunion there i feel um what else can you show me okay so doing the work i feel you're doing the work um maybe even getting help from others okay this could be a person who didn't know how to accept help from others okay and then um the lover so whoever your lover is they're straightening out okay and then you have the doctor here so maybe this is them getting healthy this is your person getting healthy um, and really working on it, I feel. Okay, so let's see here. Very nice. Okay, let's see here. Let's do this one right here. Okay, what is their universe card? The universe. The universe. What is the universe card? Okay, let's see here. It says attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So there's definitely help there for you. I feel somebody, I think I even said you you might be getting help from somebody, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. At least, you know, accept it. Okay, and then when I lean toward love, I am led. So when I lead lean toward love i am led so this is really allowing you to receive that's very much what i got with that um king of crabs whoever this is they're trying to lead towards love it's very vulnerable it's very hard to do um but i definitely do feel like they're working on it okay um let's see what is the kwan yin message for today what's the kwan yin message kwan yin what is the kwan yin Um, I could have sworn it flipped, but I guess it did not. Let's see. What is the Kwan Yin, please? The Kwan Yin message. Okay, there it is. So, you have this one right here. Okay, and it says, um, unconditional, oh, I'm sorry, unpredictable grace. It is not lack of courage that makes you question the path before you sometimes it is uncertainty there is no need to doubt just steps to take one after another and as you do this all then all can be unfolded with the blessings of my powerful if unpredictable grace so 
you're being led towards grace um but it's almost that especially with the two of swords like you gotta take it off your blinders off and make a choice and accept it and once you accept it everything is gonna heal for you I, I feel like it's a sense of just healing everything for you okay and what is their new path just let's close it off what is their new path what is their new path please for the viewer what is their new path yeah it, it's someone who's maybe stubborn to take that step you know um but I, I definitely do feel it's destiny calling there you go with this one right here yeah fixing stuff up you see how it's all cluttery and stuff you gotta fix something walk about um you discover your path in sacred walk out the trees are your people the earth is your tribe in indigenous lessons you find you will be you will survive you you will find the will to survive sorry so doing the work i feel like you got to do the work to clean clean up something that's very messy okay so there you go guys i do hope you like the reading thank you so much have a beautiful day stay blessed and healthy i'll see you tomorrow